Hi everyone, this is Roger from Economy Rubber and um, I'm going to do a little video here about some um, internal expansion fittings and the reason why I'm doing this is actually for two reasons. One is I've been I've had a problem with uh, uh, some, some of these fittings from a particular supplier and so I'm going to document the, uh, the problem and um, send it to them so they can examine it to see what what went wrong but also just I'm gonna, it's going to go up on YouTube so um, just kind of a for education for people who want to know how some of these kind of hoses are made and um, what I'll do in the future is actually show you the hose being made in the machine itself but right now I'm just going to focus on the fittings and what went wrong and so let's go ahead and start here um, so here's basically what happened we were making this um, fitting uh, putting it on a hose and as it was being manufactured it actually split right here and um, so it's obviously no good and so that was one problem another problem we had is a very similar uh, basically the same thing this one didn't split but it got so distorted that you can hardly turn the nut on it anymore to uh, attach the hose to the to where it goes in the pump so those are the two problems we've been having um, so what um, basically I had to do is I scrapped uh, the fittings from this particular supplier and, when, and I found another supplier um, that worked just fine and so this is the other supplier here so basically they're the same type of fittings um, just uh, made by two different suppliers so this is the supplier that had the problems this is the uh, the one that I ended up using so um, let's go ahead and start here so what I think is happening is if you look at this fitting here there's the um, the collar on this fitting right here this little piece right here hopefully you can see that I'm using my little handy dandy uh, Tinkerbell uh, pen here but uh, the width of this collar right here looks like to be about an eighth of an inch approximately and that's supposed to go on this fitting which make sure I get it into the camera and kind of lock in there but you can see it doesn't lock in can't get it to sit on that little ledge so it looks like this ledge right here I don't know if you can see it on the camera because I don't really have a close-up I'll see if I get as close as I can here but um, this little lip is not deep enough so when I put this on there it doesn't lock in the little groove so what's happening as this fitting expands inside in the machine and for those who are not familiar with this the way this works is this goes inside the, the fitting well, let's use this one here this goes inside the fitting and the machine pulls this whole little plunger all the way through when it does that it expands this brass piece right here so in this case on the bad fitting as it expands it's getting hung up on the collar here because the collar doesn't seat inside the groove so it applies too much pressure right here and so when it expands it pops the brass and cuts it and it breaks it so that's what I think what's happening so um, there could be two reasons one is maybe this is not as this little ridge here is too thick or maybe this um, gap isn't wide enough you can see here this one does not lock doesn't lock in the gap like it's supposed to. I compare that to this fitting here that worked fine. You can see when I put it in there, it doesn't snap apart. So, because this edge here locks inside that groove right there. I'll get a little closer so you can see that. So, when I put it in there, it doesn't come apart. So, it seems to work much better. Again, just to look at this one again, it doesn't lock in there. It won't sit inside that groove. So it, it distorts too much when it's being expanded and it, it breaks or seizes up. So actually what you can do, I don't think you can see it in this uh, camera here, but I'll try. Right in there, you can see that the little collar is actually hanging up above the lip. So it looks like that does not seat inside the, the little groove like it's supposed to.
All right. So that's documenting the problem. And I'm going to forward this on to the supplier so they can tell me what to do, or uh, maybe fix the part, or uh, let, just let me know what's going on. All right. So just as a quick review for people that are interested in how these hoses are actually made, um, it's pretty simple. Basically, this goes over the top. This is called a ferrule. This goes over the top of the hose, and this goes inside the hose, fits together like that, and in the machine, of course, before you put these fittings on, this goes inside the hose, and you can imagine this inside the hose, and the machine pulls it through, and as it pulls it through, it expands, expands this part that's inside the hose, so it basically squeezes the hose between this fitting here, the ferrule, and the actual fitting itself, the bar fitting itself. So it expands and squeezes the hose and that's what holds the fitting on. These types of hoses are used typically for fueling. It's just a larger version of what you could find at a gas station. So that's it for now and uh, in the future I'll actually show you how these hoses are made on the actual machine itself. I'll show you this thing actually going through the, the fitting and popping off and uh, putting the hose together. Thank you and um, have a good day.